going on everybody this is jacoby here and today we're doing a basic hat tutorial heavy anti-tank uh that's what hat stands for guys uh we're gonna be going over how to zero where to shoot and just some basic strategies that i use within the game that help me accomplish my mission of eliminating as many vehicles as possible guys uh and with the hat kits you're really looking for the up armors uh the heavy stuff you do a lot of damage to all vehicles you're very powerful kit and you want you guys to use that to the best of your ability with your squad um, so let's get started, guys. All right, guys. Starting off, we're going to be using the American M136 AT4 rocket. Uh, it's a very fast round, guys. And with all of the rockets that I'm going to be showing you guys, I want to show you this real quick little tidbit that'll help you guys. All right. So first off, when you guys get into a game, you, usually your squad leader will give you a fire team lead. I'm just going to give myself a squad leader. But with that, guys, you're going to be able to go in here. All right, and say we're looking for this tank. Okay, it's marked out. All right, so there's an enemy tank right there okay but you gotta find out it's right here okay because this is the laid marker so from where we're at all you guys are gonna have to do is you're gonna click right click and just put an attack marker on it for your fire team you're gonna be the lone probably in the fire team you're gonna be the fire team lead and then it won't do this in the training grounds but it will give you at the bottom of your screen guys right here on your compass right here guys it'll give you the range right above it okay and then from there guys all you're gonna do is ads hold x x-ray and then you're going to scroll up and down and set your range. So right now, all right, let's imagine we're shooting a 200-meter target, okay? Well, we're shooting this tank, so we'll go for 100 meters. This is a real easy one. I don't got any rockets either. All right. 100 meters, not much. We'll imagine it's a 200-meter target. All right, so I'm going to hold X. Scroll up for 200 meters. Adjusted. Fire. All right. The American AT4 rocket, guys, is very fast. Uh, so don't give too much lead when you're going for close range shots at all. Really just put it right on them. Uh, where to hit, guys? Ass shots on all of these rockets are the best shot, guys. No matter what you do, aim for the rear of the, of the vehicle. Take the engine out, guys. It's deadlined. Then they got to get out and try to repair it and shoot them as they're getting out. Uh, if you clear the tank out, then you're good. You just got a dead tank there. Or a dead Vic, whatever you're shooting at. Just find the engine, guys. We'll be going over where to hit everything over there here in a bit. What's up, guys? All right, so now we're going to be talking about the Russian uh, RPG-7V2. All right, guys, this one's a little different. Different. The sight is really weird on it, guys. Uh, you can't use the uh, X strategy on it, guys. For every all the other ones, you can, except for this rocket, guys. Uh, this one's really... It's different, guys. And you don't got near the range you got with the... Uh, American M136 AT4, guys. So, right now, guys, I just want to show you this. All right. All right. So, looking at the site, guys. First off, don't accommodate for any of these guys. These are for the other rockets that come with it. Uh, this is your 100 meters right here, this line, okay? This is your 150, and this is your 200. All right. So, you only got about 200 meters. After that, you're. You're flirting with fire there and trying to get a shot off at 300 meters and maybe 400 at the bottom. Maybe. If you can even see the tank, you'd be risking it. Uh, my advice for this one, guys, is getting really close. Uh, crawling a long ways if you need to or setting up on roadways. Common roadways where the where vehicles will be coming. It's a slow shooting rocket, guys, so you got to give a good amount of lead. Uh, definitely come to the shooting range, guys, and practice this rocket if you want to start using the hat kit, okay? So let's we'll just give the shot, guys. I might even miss this shot. All right. So first things first, guys. All right, so we know we're nowhere at 100 meters. We got the mark there. But with this rocket, guys, I always aim a little bit high. So right about there. If I if I think it's past, I I honestly think it's a little bit past 100 meters. So it's like 105. So I'm gonna aim at the top of the tank. I'm trying to aim for the turret. Good hit. You see how that dropped though? We knew that was 100 meters, and that dropped down to under the one. Right about here, guys. Right about here is where that hit. So you always want to aim just a little bit above all your shots. So let's go ahead and try a 200 meter shot, guys. I want to show you what the kind of shooting above looks like. If I can get out of this. There we go. All right, so I know for a fact this is above 200 meters to that 200 meter target. So once again, I'm going to have to I'm gonna ADS. I'm going to line it up with 200. I'm going to aim for the bottom of that, guys. Right about there. Shot high, but still, you guys can see how that, how long that round takes for a 200 meter target. So you really want to get up close. 
Since the tank is burning, we're gonna blow this baby up too. Alright guys, and that is your Russian RPG. Uh, let's move on. We're going to be going to the British next, guys. Uh, Alright, what's going on, guys? We're here with the British hat kit. Uh, this shoots the ILAW AT4 rocket, guys. Very similar. Very, very similar to the uh, American uh, M136 AT4. Alright, so same thing with everything else, guys. We're just going to be pretty quick. We're just going to cycle through using X. And we're going to use our scroll wheel to go to 200 meters. We're going to do 200 meter shot. Once again, a very fast rocket, guys. Don't accommodate for lead with the British and American uh, rockets unless you're shooting at about 500 meters. And if so, I'd still wait for it. Anytime you're shooting that hat, guys, just make sure that your target is sitting still. Uh, moving target's hard to hit. Uh, still targets a lot easier, guys. So let's move on. We're going to the militia next, guys. And this, they, sh the militia uses a similar rocket as the uh, insurgent forces. So let's just move on to that. All right, guys. Next, we're doing the militia, the RPG-7 tandem. Heavy anti-tank round is loaded up into this with the uh, militia guys and this uh, RPG-7 tandem. Uh, you have another you have another rocket here, guys. It's a high explosive anti-tank round. Uh, this one you want to exactly you could use it and it might do a little damage against tanks, but really you're using this against uh, strikers, uh, anything that's not a tank, guys. It has level five armor. Okay, so Humvees don't stand a chance. Uh, Anything along them lines, guys. Uh, Humvees, uh, Lodgies, uh, Strikers. Light, lighter armor than the tanks, guys. We're going to use this heavy explosive tank round at. All right. And just like with everything else, guys, we're going to hold X and hit the scroller wheel. And that's going to adjust to where we need to be, okay? So I'm going to hit 200 meters. All right. Now that round's a little bit faster than what the, tan uh, the, uh, the uh, 7v2 is. With the, uh, but not near as fast as what, uh, the British AT4 and the, uh, British, or not the British AT4. I guess it is AT4. The British and American AT4 is what we can call those. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to show you guys a high explosive round next. Oh, that was a high explosive round. Alright. Let's go to the heavy anti tank round. All right, guys. Once again, we're gonna zero with this. We're just gonna go for the hundred meter, the hundred meter target. We're set for 50, 100 meters. Once again, with the anti tank round, you can see how it arches, guys. It's a lot heavier round, so you're, it's gonna be a lot closer. I think we can only go to two hundred meters with this thing. One hundred and fifty, guys, is what the range is for that on this rocket. Next, guys, we're gonna be doing the last one, which is the insurgent forces. Uh, so let's move on to that. Alright guys, just like with the Militia guys, the Insurgent Forces also have the RPG-7 tandem. We're not going to go over that again. What we're going to go over now is another one that the Insurgents carry, and that's the RPG-29 tandem. Uh, weird round, guys, and kind of a weird reticle for it. So right now, I just want to go over that real quick. Alright, so if you're looking at the top here... Let's see if we can do this real quick. All right, so at the top here, guys, you'll see that's 100, 200, 300, and 400s at the bottom, guys. So to make this easier for yourself, you're going to, once again, use the X, and you're going to zero. Let's go 200 meters, and you'll watch him shift up a little bit with his sight. So 400, and there's no 500, guys. So let's go to 100 meters, actually. Let's get that shot off. Right there, I'm looking at the top arrow. All right, and it shoots like a mortar round almost is what it sounds like. So let's reload this big Bertha. Let's go for the 200 meter. All right, guys, so once again, we're going to aim. Hold X. Move to 200 meters. Right there, I'm going to be looking for that second arrow. So on and so forth, guys. Uh, that is all your hat kits, guys, on how to aim them and how to zero correctly. Remember, guys, always use your fire team lead. Request it and put a marker down, uh, like such. Right click, and that's that's your markers, guys. Move to attack. This will all give you the range. All right, uh, guys. Last but not least, we're gonna be going over uh, the tanks and where to hit them, and some other vehicles. Uh, and with that, guys, I want to give you guys the basic strategies. All right, guys. Last but not least, I want to go over uh, just kind of look over the tanks real quick. If you guys haven't 
watch my other video. Uh, please do, guys. It's a tank tutorial. Uh, I go over where to hit the tanks with another tank. And uh, that's also the same applies for rockets, guys. Just uh, check that out, guys. And I just kind of want to go over some of these vehicles and where to hit. Uh, obviously, guys, uh, the ass shots, guys, anywhere in the rear of the tank are your best shots. Uh, Abrams, the turret, the back of the turret. You'll disable the turret if you hit the back of it. Uh, that's If you can disable the vehicle, guys, crewmen will hop out to try and repair that engine. And that's when you want to try and pop them is at that moment. Uh, as for that, guys, just really it, in the rear of any vehicle, if you're using your hatkins against a striker or an MRAP or anything like that, guys, just hit it up. Hit them straight, guys. Solid. Uh, you'll do enough damage. Try and find the engines in all these, guys. Once again, rear is usually where you'll find them. Uh, engine is sometimes in the front compartment right here, guys. So you have to try and hit that box. So the center side shot is also important. Uh, but if you see a tank smoking, guys, with the hat kit, usually hit them in the rear, and you might, you'll more than likely get an explosion. And you'll get the you'll get the kill on that tank. Uh, strategies, guys, what I use. Number one strategy is always have a rifleman with you guys. Try and keep a rifleman with you. Try and get a, fi a rifleman in your fire team. And move away from the squad if you need to, guys. Get in a, set up in an area where there's high traffic. Uh, another strategy that I do is I'll take an MRAP. Or let's see if we got the shit box here. Shit box is right here, guys. This is just a crappy tank. The armor looks decent, but it's really not. Uh, it gets ripped in half by just about everything. Uh, you grab this track shit box and you park it, guys. In a high traffic area, you try and sneak your way in there, park it in the side of a building somewhere you can run back and get ammo. Excuse me, guys. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit that tank in the ass, disable it, run back, get your ammo, and come from a different point of view, guys. Never try not to shoot from the same spot twice. That applies for everything, guys. Uh, whether you're just using your rifle or you're throwing grenades or whatever you're doing, guys, try not to hit the same spot twice. Twice is no bueno. Uh, they're going to they're gonna anticipate you looking at the same spot. They're probably looking at that area of where the rocket came from. So try and get a different angle or just a different spot, something small, guys. You don't have to move. I'm not saying move all the way around to the other side of the tank or vehicle that you're shooting at. I'm saying if I'm here and I just shot a rocket here, well, then maybe I climb over and I try and, you know, go to the other side of this wall if there's another opening there, guys. Uh, that's about it, guys. Just try and be versatile, try and be hidden. And make sure you guys land your shots because your your shots cost a lot of ammo. And uh, they're vital. They're key to winning games, guys. Hat kits and a lot of other support kits are very vital, guys. So make sure you use it wisely. Make sure you guys come to the shooting range and practice before you go out there and use them. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope this video helps you. Uh, please don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Twitch, guys. I stream uh, twitch.tv, Jacoby underscore Raider. Uh, check me out, guys. Drop a follow. If you guys like this video, please hit that like and that subscribe. Uh, you guys are all amazing. I hope to be doing more of these squad tutorial videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, and have a great day. Peace.